MoMA is one of the foremost uh, modern art museums in New York City, uh, and I guess you could say the world. Um, we like to think so. Uh, and our collection as an archive uh, encompasses both the records of the museum, the institutional records of the museum, but also collections uh, just touching on art history in general. Um, but for the purposes of my project and the project that I'm, the project I'm overseeing, the Electronic Records Archive, uh, we are focusing on collecting and managing the born digital electronic records of the museum. So uh, all of the sort of institutional documentation of the museum's activities with regards to creating exhibitions, putting on special events, uh, acquiring new works of art. Uh, all the documentation around that work uh, encompasses the institutional record of the museum that we're trying to collect and, and take care of. So a good example of what we're looking to collect would be records from a recent ex exhibition like the Picasso sculpture uh, exhibit which was very popular this last year. Uh, and so we're looking at bringing into the archives uh, photos from special events related to that event, like it's the opening or any lectures that occurred, uh, materials from educational uh, projects associated with that, uh, so any scripts or audio recordings of uh, our uh, exhibition guides, uh, and uh, correspondence is a very important part of our electronic records program, uh, and we are looking to collect emails between our staff and uh, out st outside institutions uh, arranging for uh, loans of works of art to be included in the exhibition uh, and other issues around just planning and executing an exhibition at the museum. Digital preservation is important to MoMA because it is a means by which we can establish and maintain the museum's history uh, not just as an institution, but as part of the art world in general. Uh, very often what you'll find in our records, uh, and even in our old paper records and now in our electronic records, uh, is a relationship between the museum and artists, uh, specific works of art, uh, other arts institutions that are, that are important to uh, art history, and it allows uh, the museum to document its history, but also in the future, what our hope is that these electronic materials that we collect uh, contribute to research through the archives uh, so that uh, MoMA continues to uh, have its place within a broader context. Being a part of the Preservica user community allows me to uh, ask other users how they're approaching typical challenges that I run across. Um, so very often uh, I will consult the uh, message boards uh, just to see if something that I, a, tr a problem I've run into has been uh, run into by somebody else or solved hopefully by someone else. Um, and also in coming to events like SAA, uh, I have an opportunity to sit down with other users and actually face-to-face, -face, get time face-to-face -to, -face to uh, hear about the ways they're using Preservica that I might not have even have thought of. Very often, uh, you know, being the only person at an institution using one piece of software means there's not much of a feedback loop with regards to your application of it, your implementation of it. Uh, and so it's very helpful to hear from others what they're doing as well um, so that you don't feel uh, sort of isolated within your own uh, implementation. I'm looking to the Atlanta user group meeting to learn uh, more about the future of the program uh, and of the application, uh, specifically in uh, areas of access. Um, our next big milestone with using Preservica is looking at how it can facilitate access back to our users within the museum. Um, because that is a very, uh, it's a very important part of our contract basically with staff. So if we take your materials, we need to be able to provide them back. Um, and it's my hope that 
some of the needs that I have started to notice uh, in corresponding with our staff uh, will be addressed during uh, the news that I hear about the program. Um, I'm also just you know curious to know what the roadmap holds for a few years down the line so we can start thinking forward and thinking about uh, what the long-term uh, possibilities are for us using Preservica.